In this video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about Google Flow, Google's brand new AI filmmaking tool powered by VO3. How to access it, how much it costs, every bell and whistle, everything that it features it has, and some example videos as well, advanced prompting. Let's just jump right into it. Google Flow is Google's AI filmmaking tool that's powered by VO3. Now, this is extremely powerful. And in the last video, I showed you how to use Google VO3 in Gemini specifically, which you can watch in this video right here of me if you're interested in that. Now, the difference is that Flow is sort of a step-by-step -step storytelling model. So you can actually create longer clips. You can extend video clips. You can create multi-sequences. You can do image to video, a whole lot of different features. So how you're going to access it is by going to labs.google slash flow. And don't worry, I am going to have the link in the description of this video for you to easily access it. Now, while some elements of Google Flow are in the Google AI Pro plan, the full capabilities are in AI Ultra. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial today. There are a lot of benefits in here, but to show you the full capabilities of Flow, I'm going to show you this, and I am currently on the AI Ultra plan. So when you're logged in here, you'll see some of your past projects if you have created anything before. And you can see here that I created some images to videos. These are some text prompts to videos. I've created some ads in here. And so let's just get started in here and create a new project. So you'll see a couple of different functionalities here, text to video, frames to video, and ingredients to video. Now, another really important thing as well, because VO3 just rolled out with audio, it doesn't default it in the flow workflow. So what you have to actually do is click on settings here, click on quality, and then click on this one highest quality with experimental audio. Now, if you don't do this, it's not going to have any audio. It's going to default to VO2, which is pretty good video quality, but there's just not going to be any audio there. So make sure if you're like, why am I generating videos and there's no audio? You want to make sure that you have this setting on specific. Now, you can also set the number of outputs as well from one up to four. This means it will actually generate up to four different variations of whatever you type in. And let's just start with the Will Smith prompt here. So Will Smith eating spaghetti in a kitchen. You can hear slurping sounds. And after he eats his fork full of spaghetti, he says, yum, mom's spaghetti. So transparently here, that prompt with Will Smith failed several times. So I, I had to actually change the prompt to describe a Will Smith as character, but it's not actually Will Smith. But check out the results nonetheless. Ah. Yum. Mom's a spaghetti. So, you know, aside from it not being Will Smith, the quality is actually really good. The lip syncing is there. Let's try one other prompt before we move on to some of the other features. So let's get a little bit more intense with our prompt here. So a hyper-realistic astronaut floating in space. He's detached from the cord in the spaceship, which is drifting away from him. He's panting heavily, stressed, and says, why did you prompt me to be in this life-threatening circumstance, Austin? Why? Extremely tense music in the background. Let's see what Theo and Flo can actually generate here. Here's the result. Why did you prompt me to be in this life-threatening circumstance, Austin? Why? And now I feel really bad about myself. Now let's use the scene builder and I'm going to come up here and click on scene builder in here. Things together to tell a story. So I'm going to type in something like scene one, a sloth in a glass cage in a futuristic laboratory, yada, yada, yada. And let's see what this first scene generates. And then we're going to build on top of that. So here's our scene one. Great. And now some other things that you can see is that we can set the scene as a frame here, so we can always reference if we want. Now, after this, we can click plus and we can click either jump to and create a separate scene, or we can extend this clip and then say, you know, extend the scene. So a scientist enters the lab and injects the sloth with a glowing green serum this oh and you should be able to there we go the 
Sloth lets out a loud cry and then begins to glow green. All right. And let's make sure we have the highest quality on there. And and let's extend that. And now we have our scene two that extends afterwards like so. And then we can continue to extend the scene. Whoops. And then we can drag. So what we want to do here is make sure this is dragged to the end. And then we can extend the scene even further and say the sloth begins to grow, glow bright green and then starts to grow like the incredible Hulk. And now you can kind of see the entirety of extending the clip. So we have our first clip here that we set, followed by the second clip that immediately starts once it's ending. And then from there, it adds into our third clip where he starts to glow green and turn into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> So it's really powerful to be able to stack clips on like this. So you can take uh, an initial one sec or uh, eight second clip and extend that into what is now a 21 second clip. Now, another really interesting thing that I wanted to showcase uh, in Flow is this Watch Flow TV. And I think this is actually pretty cool here. Oh, different examples um, and they have these different channels and you can also see the prompt. It was used to generate that individual. And so we can sort this by different channels, passengers, and it's almost sort with the music. It's almost sort of real, kind of interesting. You go to clip like this, if you press the right icon, and if you go up and down, it changes the channel to a different theme. So time to reflect. And it shows different elements of things that show reflections and so this is like oddly fascinating to just sort of sit with in the background here yeah fit check let's go back and so you can get an uh, this is a, a great way to get an idea of the types of prompts that are working really well within Flow right now. I also wanted to show you some of the other elements that you can do within Flow. So let's do frames to video, or let's do um, let's do ingredients to video here. So I'm gonna upload an image of myself, and let's do this headshot, and you can crop this in as you want. And so this is where you can sort of do image to video. So this is an example of something that I did earlier, and I am going to make sure that the high quality version with audio on man in the photo um, starts doing jumping jacks and says, how do you like VO3? And let's just see what this generates and so transparently this does seem to be a recurring issue with vo3 and flow that the audio just doesn't work for whatever reason I kind of worked my face a little bit here but it still did a pretty good job taking that image and turning it into a video regardless of the audio not working so let me know in the comments below what do you think of flow and google vo3 is it worth the price tag that they're asking right now what features would it need to have to justify the price for you? And let me know also if you'd like to see complete comparison between OpenAI Sora and Google VO3. I'll do an exact step-by-step -step demo of both of these tools. And if you didn't see the first demo of how to use VO3 within Gemini, click right here and I'll see you in that tutorial. As always, I hope this is helpful, friends.